Creating calculated expressions. Expressions in Access 2013 are used to do mathematical calculations, combine or extract text, or validate the data in your database. Expressions use all or some of the following elements functions, identifiers, operators, and constants. We've already talked about operators in this course. The plus and minus signs are operators, for example. However, before we move forward, let's talk briefly about the definitions of functions, identifiers, and constants before continuing. It's important that you understand what everything is before you begin to use it. This is an example of an expression. Equal sum, open bracket, retail price, close bracket, star 0 0.8. In this expression, the sum is the function. The retail price inside the square brackets is the identifier. The asterisk or the star is the operator and the 0 0.8 is the constant. A function is defined as a procedure that returns a value that's used in an expression. In the example earlier, the procedure is to add, which is a mathematical addition. An identifier is defined as a part of an expression that represents a value of a field, property or control. In the example above, the identifier is retail price and it represents the field retail price. A constant is defined as a value that's not calculated and doesn't change. When you use expressions in Access 2013, you can use them to do any of the following. Specify criteria for a query. This is something you've already learned to do, and we supplied you with several expressions you can use. Create validation rules. A validation rule controls what users can enter into a field. Calculate values that don't exist in your database. For example, maybe you want to calculate the total amount of orders for one customer. Set default values for fields and or controls. These are the values that you see when you open your table, form or report. A calculated field is defined as a column that contains an expression. Whenever you enter a record into a table, Access will use the expression to calculate what data will appear in the field. To create a calculated field, open a table in your database. Let's open the books table. Let's add a new field. We'll make it a calculated field. Click in the arrow in the click to add field and then choose calculated field from the drop down menu. Now you can choose what type of calculated field you want to add. It can be text, number, currency, yes or no, or date or time. Since your table contains a lot of text and not many numbers, let's choose text. The expression builder then opens up. You can use the expression builder to create calculated fields or expressions for records. Here you can see the expression builder window. Let's learn how to use it in creating a calculated field. Although you can use expression builder for any expression you want to create anywhere in a table, query or other area. Let's learn how to use it. The upper section of the expression builder is called the expression box. This is where you put together your expression. The three columns below the expression box are where you can go to construct the expression. If you want, you can type some or all of your expression directly into the expression box. If you go to the first of the three columns below, you can choose an expression element. If you'd like to see the month value for a publication date, you'd first expand the functions group, then select the category, and then select the value. Let's select month. Double click the function to add it into the expression box. Now you can fill in the values. Click on the word date to highlight it, and then type in the value. Type in the word publication date with square brackets surrounding it to indicate the field. Access may suggest the field for you as you're typing, as you can see here. So click on that, and the field will be completed. Click OK, and it will be inserted into your database. The field will be added, as you can see here. Enter a name for the field and the table will be updated. Let's call it Publication Month. Once again, if you can't see the full width of the field, you can make the column wider. As we started earlier, a function is a procedure that's used to determine a value. The concept is simple, but learning all the functions can be overwhelming and is almost impossible. Unless you're a programmer or familiar with programming language, Using the expression box is the quickest and simplest way to do functions in Access 2013. 
In addition, Access 2013 explains what each function is at the bottom of the Expression Builder window. To see all functions for Access 2013 and what they do, as well as use them in your spreadsheets, click on Functions in the first bottom column and then click on Built-in Functions. To use a calculated expression in a query, open a query. Let's open the Books query. Switch to Design View, then go to the Design tab and click on Builder in the Query Setup group. You can see the Expression Builder has shown again. To create an expression in Forms or Reports, to create an expression in Forms or Reports, open up a form or report and go to Design View. Select the field where you want to enter a calculated expression, then select Properties. If you don't see it on the right hand side, click on Property Sheet. Look for the three dots beside the Control Source item, which is in the Data tab. This represents the Expression Builder. Click on those three dots to open the Expression Builder and enter in your expression.